Years ago, man created the ultimate frustration, golf. A game designed to test the true limits of man's patience. A sport combining beauty and strength. A sport demanding eye and hand coordination. Oh, just an accident. Here's the man who can put it all together for you. The man who can help you help your game. Dirk Gorf, the Duke of Divots. Tim Conway starring in Dorf on Golf. With a special appearance by Vincent Ciavelli. And now, here's Dorf. In the golf, the object of the game is to get this a tiny little weeny ball into that the tiny little weeny hole way down there with as few strokes as possible. Now I'd like to introduce a very valuable asset to, to my game of a golf, my caddy, a Leonard. Leonard will, of course, be selecting the right club for me and also giving me some information on the course itself. Right, Leonard? Huh? The club, Leonard, the club. You'll be giving me information about the course and selecting the right the club. The club's over there. Right, that's what I mean. We get... <laughs> Leonard, that's the club house. It's pretty, isn't it? Isn't it, though? I'll tell you what. Why don't you run over there and get yourself a tuna fish sandwich? I hear that fish is real good for the brain. <laughs> now, lettuce begin. You want lettuce on that tuna? It's going to be a long day. And before we introduce the hole that we are going to be playing here today, I'd like to introduce another assistant of mine, a friend of Leonard's, a Boom Boom LaRue. <laughs> Now, the hole itself. Um, as you can see, the hole we will be playing today is a par four hole with a dog leg to the left. Uh, can you get a shot of that uh, dog leg? <laughs> Not this dog's leg. This the dog leg. <sighs> All right, let's get out to the course. <clears throat> Not you, Boom Boom. <laughs> you stay. I go. Mm. And now we'd like to show you some of the uh, supplementary equipment that you can purchase to help that the game of a golf of yours. Uh, first of all, this is a little uh, arm brace that you can purchase. You see that it's adjustable. And then the, once you find the correct position for your elbow itself, you just lock that little dude in like that. And then it is permanently locked. You keep your hand straight when you hit that ball like that. Now, this uh, next a little piece of equipment that I have on my leg here, I would like to describe to you. Uh, it's a little electrical device we have here to keep your legs straight. Uh, Leonard, excuse me, I know that you're real busy, but uh, <laughs> you want to just to plug that in. Here you go. And that goes into this small battery over there, Leonard. That's good. <laughs> like a gazelle. <clears throat> now, what this is, is a little electrical device that gives you a little electrical reminder that if you move your leg too side to one side like that, boy, it gives you a little zzz. I'll show you how that works. Ah. Ah. Leonard, you got that to plug in to the 220 line. It's supposed to be just to do that little battery. Ah. Anyway, Leonard will now attach our next little device. I told you, just the battery, not the 220 line. Attach this up here. Now, this little device here is designed to keep your legs in the correct position when you're hitting it at the ball like that. You notice that you can't move too far. Just pound it in with the hammer, Leonard. Put it in the hole and pound it in, Leonard. That's it. One, two, three. That's good, Leonard. <coughs> Step aside. Now, these little devices like this, as I say, are designed to keep your legs in the correct position. <laughs> Of course, you just use this in the practice. You don't use this when you're really a playing. <laughs> you still got that plugged into the 220 line. <clears throat> Give me that the next piece of equipment. Thank you. Now, this little device here is a design to keep your head down and your eye on the ball. This uh, chain attaches to this uh, little brace down here on your stomach. Uh, Leonard, hand me my golf club, please. That's a hammer, Leonard. I want the golf club. See? Hammer, golf club. That's a good. 
Now, I'll just uh, attach this down here and uh, show you how this little apparatus works. You can uh, see that this keeps your head down and your eye on the ball. Now, sir, just uh, how easy it is to hit this, and remember that old saying, and no harm at all can befall the guy who keeps his eye on the ball. So, go on! <laughs> Leonard, help me up here. All right. Leonard, watch out there for those golf carts. How many times have I... Ah! <laughs> Unplug the Q20 line, Leonard. Unplug it. <sighs> Why me? Stop <laughs> it. Well, now, you wouldn't drive your car in the wintertime, would you, without properly warming it up? Of course you wouldn't. And the same material applies to golf itself. You shouldn't even go out there and take a one practice swing unless you warm up before you do that. That way you don't have those doggone back pains when you get through with the day, and you can just sit at home and relax at the end of the day. So we'd like to show you some of the basic warm-up shots that we'll be doing here for you so that you can play a better game of golf. Leonard, do you want to hand me my club? Right. Because the important thing to warm up in golf is that uh, those are new clubs. And now they got little scratches on there, nice and acute like that. Leonard, do you want to stand over there for me, please, out of the way? All right. Here's a beauty. <clears throat> Some of the basic warm-ups that you can do, first of all, you take your club like this, you place it behind your back, and you give a simple stretch. Here's the one, and the two, and the one, and the two, like that. That's how you use that club. Then, of course, you want to start to the beginning to stretch that torso out. So we start with the sum of this, where you have to use and the one, and the two, and you can use those as you want. Even some jumping jacks come in pretty handy there. Like at that. And then, of course, you want to stretch out the feet aside. Stretch the top of that ground real good. This will let those muscles stretch out before you like at that. And then we get into some more basic exercises like the setups. Now, what we want to do here is to stretch right in here. So we come up and we touch those toes real good. One and the two. One and the two. One and the two, just a lot of that. Then, some heavier exercises, we want to get right into the setups. So, we just a round. And the two. And the three. And the four, and we're ready to go. So, now that we're already in there, of course at home, if you have weights that you want to use, you can use those too. But of course, use those just at the home. Leonard, bring in those weights, will you? <laughs> Now, first of all, the first lift is a to the waist. Like that. Then we bring her to the chest. Like that. You got to be careful when you go overhead with her. Then you just hold it up there and then let it down gently at... Oh, boy. Oh, I think I blew a tube on this. Oh. Now, here we are on the first tee, par four. So we'll tee up our first drive here and see if we can't get one out there about 2 two fifty, maybe. You to you. All right. Ah. Not too bad there, a little off it to the right, but the doggone the nice hit. You see, now that's the advantage of having this on the videotape here. See, we can take a look at this and just slow it down and see where we went wrong. 